Hey y'all, and welcome back. Thank y'all for coming back to Thirst Trap 101. It's episode six on submission pages. My name is Ryan Lindsay, and this is my YouTube series, Thirst Trap 101. Thank y'all again for joining us for another episode, episode six of Thirst Trap 101 on submission pages. A few things uh, to get us started. Um, y'all know I'm, I'm a little new at the YouTube, at the, at the U, and um, I've been doing my little song and dance at the end, which I'm still gonna do, um, but I need to do this right now and subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Seer Sucker Stud, Thirst Trap 101, so I can continue to do this. I need you to subscribe. Thank you. Um, next thing, you know, we like to start out with a little bit of promo for some merch. So check this out. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Uh, safety first. We are in a global pandemic still. Um, you see, I am working from home. I'm in my apartment, but when I am out, I am definitely wearing my Seersucker Stud mask. So go to SeersuckerStud.com, go to the store, uh, find that mask, and then be proud you're a big stud hold your chest out people ask you about it too it's a it's a great mask say i know this guy he's real funny he's on youtube seersucker stud so get your mask um now on with the episode on submission pages uh first off we're gonna uh talk about our our goal and um uh spoiler alert uh we are gonna be talking about how to get more followers today um next thing where are they? Where are they? How do you find these submission pages and how to discover them? I'm gonna give you two ways uh, on how to find them. Uh, next thing, once you find them, how do you approach them? How do you interact with that page? I've got three tips, or honestly, I've got three tips and an asterisk down there. So uh, don't let me forget that asterisk. That's, that's why I've got it up there. And then success. They have either shared your photo in their story or on their page in their feed. Um, what do you do? What, what, what's your follow-up? Um, that's gonna round out our show on uh, submission pages. So let's start it off and let's talk about the goal. You have now, through maybe a little bit of my help, formed a beautiful thirst trap page. Um, got a great profile picture, cool bio and content awesome images that are crisp and uh, uh, there's a lot of variety. You've got captions bringing you to your page. Now, how else outside of interacting with other pages, etc., do you get more attention to your page? And these submission pages, what they are, are they have numerous guys and lots of different models on their page and they operate by having you submit your pictures to them. It's a very mutually beneficial relationship. They get content for what they're trying to do from you and you benefit by being featured, having tags back to you and having more followers in turn, uh, paying attention to your page and following what you do. So that's our goal. Get on the submission pages. The more the merrier. Have a lot of soldiers out there helping you out and bringing attention back to your thirst trap page. Second thing, where are they? How do, how do you find these uh, submission pages? Two ways. The first one is um, search your hashtags. Okay. So you go to the search area and now you got to just start kind of typing things that you think would sound like a sexy thirst trap page like hashtag hot men, hashtag 
sexy man. Hashtag hot daddy. You see, you see what I'm saying? And options will appear and you're gonna get a few clues as to whether it might be a type of um, submission page. Number one, it's title, like what, uh, hot daddy, is that okay? That sounds like a, a submission page. Their profile picture, if it's a, a, a sexy kind of a stud, that can be a good indicator. And, and another one is um, if, uh, if some of your friends are already following it. <laughs> Um, that's a good indicator too. That might be a type of submission page um, that would be um, smart for you to try to be featured on. The next way, uh, talking about those sexy friends on, on Instagram is uh, look to other pages. So if you're like me, you're following a lot of thirst trap, very sexy pages on Instagram. So sometimes just press on them and see who they have tagged. Um, that's gonna give sometimes a, re a wealth of information. You can tag up to 20 folks in your images and I always tag my photographer, I tag my labels, but then I, I max out, I, or close to it, I max out and I tag all of these submission pages that I think would be beneficial to them to see me and if they pick it up very beneficial to me because then i'll get some more attention and followers with with their help so um, you can either use the hashtags or um, get some tips from other people's pages you know don't this is this is just information that's that's free and public and one day believe me when your page gets kind of popular, guys will be tapping on your page and seeing who you tag to. So you'll, you'll pay it forward and you'll reshare that good information. One thing about kind of investing your time in tagging and or approaching these uh, submission pages is uh, when you first go to their page, kind of look at their first few posts and click on them and see when they were. If they're from 2018, this is not an active page anymore. If they are from today and yesterday, this is an active page. And then you should kind of invest your time or it might be worth it trying it um, to approach them and see if they will feature you. Now you found them. So now we're gonna talk about how to approach them. Uh, just like kind of in the real world, there's gonna be some, some nice etiquette here. The first thing I always do is give their page some propers. Give them some props, make them feel special. Follow their page, like a lot of their images, comment on a lot of their images, and send them a, a nice DM that says, I love your sexy page. That's it, tell them you love them. That's the first way to approach these pages. The next thing to keep in mind or, or definitely do is be nice. And I, I did put an exclamation point by, by that one because it's very important. Um, I am hyper nice to these pages because I believe they're doing me a genuinely very, very nice service. So. I, like I said, after I complimented their page, I said, I'll say, hey, I think I've got some sexy pics that might work for your page. Um, would you mind if I submit some for your consideration? Uh, thank you in advance. I'm Ryan. So make it personal, be really nice. And if they don't respond at all, well, that's an indicator. It might not be an active page or, or maybe they're not interested. Okay, that's all right. But if they reply and say, sure, great. You already have got a good relationship going just from the simple act of being nice. And so, uh, the, sorry, the third thing is send them many options. So don't send them just one. If it's a, a page that's uh, unique to jock straps, 
then send them like your five best and sexiest and then follow it up with a little dm that says i know i know i sent you too many but um just pick your favorite i wanted you to pick your favorite and they hopefully they'll think that's nice that you gave them options but also you know one day when they might be like i need some content i need some content oh that ryan guy he sent me like five really sexy ones so they might share you again or look to more of your content so send them some options okay um i do remember the asterisk okay the asterisk there means look at their instructions if they have them in their content up there or in their bio if they say tag me in your photo or mention me in your caption or dm me or do not dm me like if they provide you with instructions on how they want you to try and get their attention follow their instructions if they say don't dm don't dm just follow their instructions um finally last last line item for today uh episode six um the follow-up what do you do when they put you in their feed or share you in their story you basically go bonkers okay i mean it's exciting you need to act like you just won the super bowl and you're you're so thrilled that you then go to that pay, go to that picture that's now on their feed you like it you leave a comment and I'm talking, so hold on. When you do the comment, I'm talking two full sentences, okay? Not a heart emoji, okay? Two full sentences with some emojis, okay? Leave a legitimate comment. And then save it, then reshare it in your story and tag back to them. And also do a little gift that says, thank you thank you show gratitude this is the big point of the follow-up i also if they share you in their story you reshare it you do the thank you gift you um go back and send them a dm that says thank you exclamation point two of them double hands up a blow the kiss emoji and a wink like all that okay then you know what when they do it again in a week or so or even the next day if they become a big fan of yours don't just say the same nice comments mix up your emojis put the thank you at the end after the emojis show them the respect of treating them with you know not like you're cut and pasting every day interact with them there these are real people that are doing you a great service so show them genuine original uh gratitude each and every time they share um, your sexy photo and that's it we have you have mastered uh you've been the master of submission pages i can't believe i just said that um, but that does bring us to the conclusion of episode six. And, you know, I do have a few, uh, a sneak peek uh, coming up of episode seven. And before that, you know it, you know it is. Subscribe, 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 please. Seer Sucker Stud, Thirst Trap 101. Um, I need y'all to subscribe, leave comments. I've been getting some great comments. Y'all leave me some comments and I'll reply to all of them. It's gonna be fun. Um, so subscribe, thank you. Um, next episode seven, after this, this is fun. This is seriously fun. Um, and it's actually a lot, okay? So it's gonna be on interacting with other pages, okay? And this is quite a very broad topic. So I'm gonna need two episodes, episodes seven and eight, we'll deal with interacting with other pages. I'm interacting with you, you're interacting with me, I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna give you tips, and we're gonna have like a lot of fun on interacting with other pages on episode seven. <laughs>